What is the definition of chosen in the Bible? What is your personal definition of being chosen? When it comes to the term chosen in the biblical context, it generally refers to those individuals or groups selected by God for a particular purpose or destiny. The most obvious example here is the nation of Israel, which is frequently referred to in the Old Testament as God's chosen people. This designation, chosen, implies that they were selected to fulfill the divine covenants and promises, essentially being a light to other nations and paving the way for the messianic age. In the New Testament, this idea of being chosen is further explored through Jesus and his disciples. The criteria becomes less about belonging by birth to a particular tribe and more about faith and following Christ's teachings. For instance, in Ephesians 1.4, it explains that God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blame before him in love. It signifies a calling and a sort of divine appointment to carry out God's plan. Now, when I flip the coin and consider my personal definition of being chosen, well, it's less about divine destiny and more about potential and responsibility. Being chosen in my Portland habitat often comes up in everyday contexts. Take, for example, being chosen for a new job or project. It means someone sees the skills and potential in you to solve a problem or add value to a situation. It comes with expectations and a belief that you can deliver on them. Being chosen, therefore, is kind of like being recognized for what you're capable of contributing, whether in work, friendships, or community endeavors. It's about stepping up to the plate when your number is called, because someone believes you've got the goods. It does come with a sense of pride, but also a hefty side of responsibility. To prove not just to whoever chose you, but to yourself that you indeed have what it takes. In the Pacific Northwest, where independence and initiative are highly valued, being chosen often also means that you're expected to bring a unique take or an innovative approach to the table. So, beyond the recognition, I see being chosen as an invitation, a nudge to bring your best game and make something remarkable happen. Whether it's a cosmic calling or the nod to lead a local initiative, being chosen carries weight. And it's not about being better than anyone else. It's about recognizing that your unique blend of skills and experiences fits the puzzle right where you're placed. 